hello guys so basically we have changed the name of the youtube channel to the cobox the knowledge is scroll so we have planned to start the things from scratch so this video is only for those who are new to technology and will go with us for the long to learn the new technologies and everything so just we are going to discuss the fundamental which will be going to use in the technologies like for basic things like uh, what is os what is text data and kind of thing so let's start the fundamental of technology so first point today is um, context is like what is the language what is program what is text data what is operating system and what is storage device these are the basic things we are going to uh, see for everything in the technology so let's start with the language so first what is the language and what is programming language so basically as we know language is a mode of communication that is used to share the information between two and more than two entities like if suppose we are talking with anyone so there should be one mode of communication like to understand that uh, uh, points like for if someone is telling to you so there should be some language like hindi english anything so for that thing uh, if you are dealing with the computer so computer don't know your language like english anything so for that purpose some great people invented the technology that is called programming language so for that for communicating with the machines we need a specific language which machine can understand execute the operation that language is called programming language for example of c c++ java golang python php .net c sharp r and so on now this is the basic definition of programming language now the second point is what is program so basically what program is just simply a set of instructions we call it a program or we can elaborate it like sequence of instructions in the program big language which operating system can understand that means if you are writing something it should be in that format like computer can understand so there are some procedure for that that we will discuss later so that's for basic thing what is program so program is a sequence of instruction that will execute on the system to perform an exit exist any specific task to save the program we need to follow some rules like name of program followed by the extension of the language like uh, program 1.c program .cpp program .java that extension will show that which language you are using to create the program for language like this in return all language have some own extension like for c that is a .c uh, for c++ that is a c++ after dot so basically dot is not nothing just uh, that's a separation between name and extension that's it now we will next go to the text editor so basically what is text editor yeah, as we usually use the computer so whatever uh, application or software we see where we can insert anything like uh, text so that's called text editor one of the most common example is like microsoft word which we use that's the example of text editor so first we will see the what is editor so editor are used to create documents or allow us to edit update replace the content of the document so as we can see we can create new document in the doc, doc ms doc uh, ms word we can now uh, update the th things which already is saved we can add new things we can delete the file and so on so normally we will see that are the normal text editors uh, that normal text editor basically if you are storing something so that will store the instructions with that uh, content like suppose if you are writing hello world with that bold letter so it will write the instructions like they have bold letter and that's start from a specific point and so on but this is the problem for uh, languages because if suppose we are writing a code and if we are executing and it already have some other instructions so which we are which will create a problem in the execution so for that purpose some people invented plain text editor what is plain text editor plain text editor they only store data written inside it without any other instructions that is like notepad being used in uh, windows 
वी मैंड वी आई इन द ओवर टू सो वॉट दे एक्चुअली स्टोर द ओनली स्टोर द टेक्स्ट टेक्स्ट वी आर रिटर्न इन साइड इट दैट्स इट सो दैट विल हेल्प टू एग्जीक्यूट इन द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नाउ वॉट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज एक्चुअली अ सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट सेल्फ इज अ बिग टॉपिक सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओनली योर मेन पॉइंट वाई वी आर यूजिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो वॉट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट्स अ ब्रिज बिटवीन अ कोड ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड हार्डवेयर सो बेसिकली इफ वी हैव कंप्यूटर सो कंप्यूटर इज एक्चुअली अर हार्डवेयर एंड इफ वी आर गोइंग टू डू एन इंस्ट्रक्शन विद वी आर गिविंग एनी इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द हार्डवेयर सो देर शुड बी अन्वायरमेंट इन विच दैट इन्वायरमेंट कैन अंडरस्टैंड अवर इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू हार्डवेयर टू परफॉर्म एन एग्जीक्यूशन so as we can see always is a bridge between code instructions and hardware that means so whatever you will write as a code or a program that need environment to run or interact with the hardware to execute the environment is called operating system so and some example of that is like windows linux mac os unix and so on so these all are the operating system every operating system have their own properties own set of instruction own way to perform the file in the different different uh, languages have different kind of executing file like for windows we have exe for mac there is a different file format for linux there is a different file format so it depend on os to os once you will learn for a specific os you will get the things how it will works now um, the main thing is a storage device so what is a storage device actually so storage are something which are used to store the data that's the basic definition as we all know so there are two types of storage one is a primary one is a secondary so primary means like uh, that are the basic need of the system that required to run the system these are the ram and rom one is a ram that is a random access memory one is a rom that read only memory and for the secondary storage like floppy disk cd dvd tape hard disk usb drive and so on we already nowadays everything everyone have saw these things now we will go some in detail with the storage devices so more about storage anything we store in the system is stored in the secondary device so suppose any anything we want to store like video image text so whatever you want to store in the device that will come under the secondary devices only but if you want to execute that file suppose you want to open the file so that execution will happen in the ram that is the main uh, work of ram we can say <coughs> so for not only image everything like if you are running for a small program like hello world so it will execute in the ram only so we can say like whatever action we are watching on the screen that everything happening in the ram only then that means that to run any application that application should be in the active state as i saw that everything you are moving you are watching moving so that is an active state actually so os automatically load the application or file into the ram for execution data initially load in the ram uh, so that one thing uh, initially if you are performing any action like before storing to data if you are running the applic anything so that will come under the ram directly then uh, and if you want to store that procedure or uh, that uh, anything that is running that that is we they for that we will use secondary storage now that one main question uh, how long the ram stores the data as we know that for every storing everything we are using the store secondary devices but for executing uh, we are going to use the ram so that main question will arise like why ram is used and how for how long the ram contains the data so the only <coughs> the main definition once you execute any application in the store that is stored in the ram so whatever you will run it will is in the ram data will be in ram until the program is running so for suppose you are start any application that application is running so till that running that will be in the ram and all the data belongs to that application will run in the ram once you close that application then that all data vanishes once the application closed the data vanishes that's that is the reason we call ram as a volatile memory and temporary storage 
so these are the basic things about the points we are going to do use in the further language whatever we will use it's independent of technology these are the basic things so thank you for today now soon we will going to start with the new technology that uh, we will choose we are getting some new teachers to teach you so for like uh, c c++ java python for all the languages we have the new teachers who will guide you thank you have a good day